Um, let's go ahead and get started. I will, um, we're going to be, uh, like I said, we're going to be recording. Let's jump over to our printing reports and uh, using report borders and show how borders work. I don't know if many of you have used the uh, printing and the report uh, border function, um, but it is uh, fairly simple. It just takes a little bit of exposure to get used to it. So I'm gonna open up a schedule. Uh, let me pull a schedule open. Let me get my, uh, this is my, let me open up one that's got stuff in it. Here we go. Here is a schedule. And if, as you can see, I have this schedule um, laid out. I've got it the way I want it. Let's say I've got it the way I want it. I've got the columns that I want in my report. And I want to go ahead and print this uh, schedule, right? First thing to do is go to, I'm gonna to go to my print preview screen and let's see how it looks. I can set my printer. I'm gonna set it up for a PDF print and I'm gonna select print preview. And now you notice I have pretty much blank everything down here on the bottom. I don't have a logo. I don't have any headers up at the top. And, um, it's horizontal, or I mean, excuse me, it's uh, portrait format and I want landscaping. So all of that kind of stuff I can set up over here. Here's my print button. I'm gonna go into my print settings button. And most of these I can um, just modify in, here's where I set my printer and so forth. I'm gonna go to my details button and I'm gonna set my, uh, print to a landscape letter size and you can see I don't have a border still right but that's basically I'm getting ready to set up my border so let's look at what a border is a border file right here it's empty in my details tab on my print uh, dialog box I have an option here to put in a border file. And I, I actually happen to have one. I could create a new one, but I happen to have one. I have an Encore border. And so I'm gonna select that one. And it's just, a, you can save them. They're just a regular file. You can save anywhere on your, um, in, in your file uh, folder system, right? So I've added that border. Let's see what that looks like. So notice it added my, I have my logo here, some names and things like that. Not much in there. Let's go back in that again and let's edit that border file. And let me just show you different things you can do to edit that file. Okay, so here is my border file. Let me open that up. So. This, this is the, the actual BB file, the border file. And notice um, I've got a little bar chart area that I can move around, right? That's what that's showing me. That is the area that my print is gonna be on my page. The schedule itself is gonna fit in that window. So if I, if I close that, you can see my logos right here. I've got my project title there. If, if I save this, I'm going to save this as a uh, separate file. Right. And I'm going to go ahead and close that. Make sure that I'm using that temp file. Yep, I am. And I close this. Notice, see how it put my schedule in a much smaller spot on that page, right? So this is fitting into that um, area on my border file, right? So let's go back into that border file. Let me show you that again. I'm gonna edit that. See, that's, that's, the, 
that's where I can adjust how much space on the page I have. So, you know, for example, if I, you know, if I want to put images on here, I can put stuff all around that page. This box is just showing where the schedule is going to go. Now, this is real handy if you have um, items where you're, you know, putting presentations together, right? Because I can put just in this border file, just to give you an idea of what I can do. Um, it's not very, I'm not very, uh, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Well, I, I don't know if I can zoom in very much, but you, on this toolbar up here, you'll see there's a little, a new picture option, right? I can pick a new picture and say, I want to put a picture here. And it'll say, do I want it on every page or just the first page? And I can go find a file. Let me, uh, let's see here. Let me find, uh, let's see what I got here. Well, I'll put a picture of Amanda on there from our office. Right? So now when I close that, I have Ma Amanda's picture on my uh, same. So uh, you, you get the idea how you can have a schedule. You know, this is really good for proposal schedules, things like that, when you're wanting to put a good, really nice presentation for a new project or something like that. Or, uh, you know, you. But once again, you can even put a real, you can have a picture of your, uh, your project, for example, and have it real shaded, right? Real kind of a grayed out. Uh, but you can put that on here and have a really nice background for your schedule. Uh, but that, that is your border. So basically you do the same thing for putting your logo in here. You go back in there and edit that. Uh, that's how I got my logo. I can move my logo up here at the top if I want. I can take Amanda's picture out. Um, or I can put other information at the bottom. A couple more things. This, this project title. Um, this is just a field, right? So all in, uh, if you remember when you set up Ask the Power Project, uh, you give it a project title, like right there on your new screen when you're creating it. You can create, put in there all, all kinds of information. And if I want to insert, all I have to do is just insert in one of these areas and insert a field, right? And all of these, there's the project title, uh, project start, end date. I can, you know, put, here's all the different things, project managers. These are just different fields that are uh, throughout the, um, throughout the, the software package that you can actually insert onto your report. So, you, you know, once again, once you get a good uh, border uh, file set up, you can, um, you know, use it for a lot of different projects. You can customize a lot of different things, but you, once you close that out, you can insert, um, you know, your fields, you can insert pictures and so forth like that and uh, save that border file. And it will uh, keep things nice and easy for you. You can customize it and set up however you like with even on your, your these little bars right here around my heading. Let's go back in there and clean some of that up. Right, see some of these bars right here. I need to uh, kind of clean those up a little bit. You can see it's dropping off the end of the page over here. Um, and just once again, if they get outside the border of my uh, margins and everything, then I could I could be in trouble. Once again, these are these are all very easy to insert. You got you can insert boxes, colors. Um, you know, pretty much anything uh, with a border file. A couple of things that, um, you know, will help. I just cleaned up, you can see I cleaned up those. Um, the, other, the other items that you can uh, do, you can, you can customize how many lines are going to fit in, within this box, right? I can set those up like right here. I can say, you know, how many how many lines I want in my um, in my print options. Let's go in here, and I can go into scaling. So I can say I want to, right here is where I have my um, 
my date zone so I can set my customize. But right down in here, I can say, I only want 20, let's say 25 lines, rows in my schedule per page. Notice how it, it made those a lot bigger, right? So now I can see that it's, and it's only got down to line 25. Um, I can go in here and customize in my scaling where I want it to fit. If I were gonna do a, a three week look ahead, right? Uh, on my scaling, I would come in and uh, just set up my, my details to uh, go uh, a uh, landscape. And then my scaling, I would set it up to just have everything fit one page wide. And then under uh, my appearances, I can, here's where I can uh, set up different pair um, shows right here. It's, I can turn my code library off, see these milestone appearances, things like that. I can turn those off. Um, these are, I can turn all of these different, these are different settings you can have. You can play around with those and it'll turn things on and off. It gets you a really nice, really nice uh, print for you there. So the, these are in the appearance settings, right? Um, Let's see if there's anything else. Any questions so far through that, through the, uh, you, you can use your question panel. Let me turn on your mics. We have a very manageable crowd in here today. Um, I've got you on uh, mute, but if you have any questions, just speak up. We have multiple borders that we use. We have some very basic ones that we'd use on all of our projects, but you typically each, each client that we have will set up a different border with their logo or whatever. And uh, it's fairly easy to manage. Any questions on the, the borders? All right, we will uh, pop off. I'll have a video of this and we can um, catch up later. We're going to, our updating is going to go a little bit longer today. It'll go about 30 minutes probably, but we'll do two kinds of updates. We'll do the manual updating and the um, manual update and uh, progress updating today. I'll show you a really good way to update. Hey, John. Yes. This is Steve. Hey, hey Steve. could you show everybody how to save that border? Save as, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you go back in this, um, let's see here, I'm in the print settings, go in the print settings, go to my details. Um, I, I'm editing this border, right? And I just do file, save as, and I can save it anywhere I wanna have it. I can say, this is my Encore, um, you know, uh, client border, right? save that border is that and now when I go into my settings I can just select that border to use there it is right there I just saved it it's that simple um, to select the border for this this view so you can save those borders in anywhere so you know for example if I have a particular client uh, I usually in their root folder I have you know a border that has their logo on it right, with the settings that I like. Um, we have some template borders we can send if you'd like. Um, let me know and I'll, I can send you one or two over. All right, thanks a lot. Any other questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'll uh, answer any questions you have to the best of my ability. Take care, thank you.